Hello bakers, welcome to Bakery Shop Simulator. I have just finished today. I think I've done about three days in between the first episode and this one. And I'm getting the hang of it. Um, in the first episode, I'm like, yeah, this is going to be kind of like a slow series. Uh, there's going to be times we got to pause, do this, do that. You got time to think, do things. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, I haven't bought anything, but the, the money is up. So this is where I decided to finally bring you guys in. Um, the coffee machine out there is doing so well. I think we're going to go in here and we're going to buy some more equipment for the outside. All the equipment we can for the outside because we don't have to buy stuff for those machines out there. So it's just like free money coming in. So let's go ahead and buy a juice machine and the ice cream machine. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Those are the machines outside. There we go. There's some more free money coming in here. Um, I've been kind of keeping up with the baked goods here. Look at my rating. Yeah, the rating's gone up. I, didn't, I have missed any orders. No orders whatsoever. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm trying to keep my baker really, really busy. Um, when I get down to like one item left, I have them start making more of that same item. And I put my overflow stock items right here for now. So when I get, when I get one order done, poof, I got another one to go over. And you can kind of see, yeah, we're down to like a lot of onesies and twosies here. Uh, let's see. I got to make sure I got everything. Gingerbread man. Uh, nope. Make some. Wait, do I got? No, I'm down to one gingerbread man. Come over here and you can make some gingerbread men. Gingerbread man. Get him started on that. Um, biscuit cakes. I don't think I need any of those. Uh, buns glazed. Both Italian and French. Bun glazed. Both Italian. Uh, nope. Uh, not French. Uh, gray, uh, gray bread, right? But I do need French as well. Well, wow, I need a lot of stuff that my baker needs to get going. So while he's cooking that, the other thing I found out, and I probably I missed it in the first episode. If you go to ingredients and you want to know what you have in, you know, I said you can't see what you got in stock. Yes, you can. Right below, right below here. It tells you, you got 16, 16, 5. Let's go ahead and buy some of this. So this is what I'm doing now. Trying to do this during the middle of the day and you run out of stock. It sucks, man. It really, really sucks. So I just come here now at the end of the day. I see um, the stuff I should have. Yeast, I should get some of that. And let's see, oats. Uh, I only use oats for oatmeal cookies, cream. You know, we'll get some of that. I got $224 left. Eggs, um, hmm. Uh, baking powder, let's buy some of that. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to equipment and what I'm gonna do because I haven't needed it yet, but I think it's time I look into this. Uh, customers will wait longer time if you have chairs. Let's go ahead and buy some chairs. All right, so that gets me down to $115, which is fine. Uh, I don't know because now when they're coming in, they're asking for like three things at once. Uh, so what do we have here? Gingerbread men. Okay, so what else am I short on? What did I say else I need? I need French bread. French bread. French bread's way up here. Go ahead and order that. And while he's doing that, the next thing we're going to be placing an order for, for equipment-wise, if we come up here, since I spent a lot of money, is the mixer. Yeah, we got the dough maker, but we don't have a mixer. So, no, wait, wait, wait. I got the mixer. Never mind, sorry. Um, what's the next thing I should buy then? That's the question. Hmm. All right. Uh, I thought, I forgot about the mixer. Let's come over to here. I can't see. This is the only thing. I wish I can come into this menu. In okay, now he's gone. Now he's gone. Um, let's see. This takes oven mixer dough roller. Dough roller. All right. This one takes oven mixer fruit slicer. Mixer oven chocolate heater. Oven mixer brick bread mold. Mixer oven dough maker. Oh, we already, we already got that. Sorry. Uh, oven, dough maker, chocolate heater. I think chocolate heater might be something I might get into. Chocolate heater, cream gun. Dough maker, chocolate heater, oven mixer. Chocolate heater looks like might be the next thing I probably should look into. All right. Uh, how much is that chocolate heater? Let's go over here and chocolate heater. Where are you? 175 bucks. Well, we should be able to afford that tomorrow, no problem. Now, I'm not going to buy it in the middle of the day because then people start coming in asking for stuff I don't have yet. So we'll probably just earn enough cash tomorrow and buy that. And then what we'll do is we'll buy all the ingredients that we need. 
Uh, can I place this like right there? That's fine. Uh, another shelf will be good because when we start making that, I'm running out of places to put things, as you can see. Um, I can stock on the top shelf, we'll have to see. But right now, it's midnight. Uh, let's go ahead and start tomorrow. Yes, $20 to pay our baker. You know what? He is well worth it because, man, now I have him almost working nonstop. But I'm very interested to see how the money comes in now because now we got ice cream machine and a juice machine. Is it a juice machine outside as well? Three machines. Uh, we got a chair so customers wait longer. I think I am ready to go for the most part. All right, so we're starting off. Can we just say we're starting off at $100? I think we'll just say we're starting off at $100. And now you're going to see the madness is going to start here pretty soon. I I don't want to say I'm a little bit worried that if I get my star rating all the way up, are they going to start asking for four things at once? I don't know. Bunglaze, French bread. Uh, Bunglaze. French bread. And what's the other thing? Oatmeal cookie. No, no, no. I don't want that. Oatmeal cookie and wrap. I didn't see how long that he'll wait for, but um, I still got like a half a minute, so that is good news for me. Look at that, already up to 120 bucks. How good is that? I don't know. I, I want. I'm going to try to pay attention outside today. See if I get. Can I get like three people at once buying one from each machine? Or is it just be still one person per machine or one person at the table at a time? Um, what did I just use? Oh, the French bread. Let's get the French bread up here. No. Nope. French bread needs to go up here. You can squeeze, as you can see, about five trays across. The one thing I haven't tried is sliding the trays forward a little bit and getting like ten trays across. That'd be kind of kind of interesting. I like how that uh, is this like standing in mid standing in midair, sitting in midair. Uh, okay, uh, I still say, uh, Paxki, Paxki, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and grab that. And then French bread and gray bread. French bread. Gray bread. Wrap. I think getting the chair is going to help me out. I, what, like I said, I think the, the closest I got to not finishing order, it was like 10 seconds when I've had all the stuff. Uh, where are the, as I say, I did, I did make some of those, or he did make some of those. Let's put those there. So, so far we're doing okay. Like I said, I, I spent the time last night, made sure we had everything made up, which is usually good. We're good for a little while, and he's good. So, yeah, looking over there at what you have in stock, yeah, you're just better off going into your inventory. I mean, you do have time to do this, to come into your ingredients to see what you got. Um, probably by the end of today, we're going to go ahead and probably buy some stock of everything and then buy the chocolate heater. Uh, baguette, Italian loaf. All right, so baguette, Italian loaf. And what was the third thing? French. Going to have to make some French bread already. And scan, scan, and scan. French bread, sir, because we're already, we're down to one left. So at first when they were coming, oh, I do have two people at the table at once. So that is possible. Ka-ching, ka-ching. Um, so almost only two hours into the day, we made $82-ish. $82 well, actually a little bit more than that because we, we were just shy of 100 but we just rounded it off to make it easier. But the money is coming in. In the middle of the day, it can get rather busy in here, as you can imagine. Also, I will say, like, when he puts things here, make sure you move them because he can double stack them. It looks like he didn't make them. Uh, biscuit, Italian bread. Um, Italian bread. Oh, I didn't want to grab the whole thing. And what was the thing? Italian loaf. Um, I was going to say, do I have another... <gasps> I don't have any Italian loaf. That's that's not good. Wait, did I already grab it? No, I didn't. Italian loaf. I don't have an Italian. I may. Oh boy. All right. Uh, better better get right on that. So that order's not going to be completed. All right, we'll go ahead and put that there. <laughs> oh no, I may have lost a rating. 
Yeah, customer has left the shop. Well, I mean, you can't win them all, right? Can't win them all. I thought... Hmm. Ah, wait, he didn't make it? No, okay. I was going to say, did I have making? I forgot to pick it up. No, I just forgot to go ahead and have extra. Uh, he didn't make French. All right, yeah, let's get this over here. Hey, you know what? I'll probably have you make another set of those. Of the Italian loaf. Because now I feel like a total idiot for not having it ready. All right, sir. Uh, baguette. Yep, we got those. We got that as well. And oatmeal cookies. Yes, we got those. It's too bad you can't see. Well, I, I guess I can see. But I would like to see the total the amount of money I am making per machine out there. It's like I was saying. Um, yeah, just, I would clear off when he makes things and put them here because... Like the Italian bread, he was stacking one on top of another, and I was like, where did that go? I can't, I thought I had to make it, and just, I moved one, there was another another one underneath it. Finances, so what are we making? The juice machine gives us $4, and have I sold any ice cream? Ice cream is 5 so coffee, 3 juice, 4 ice cream machine, 5 And the good news about that is, like I said, it looks like once we buy those on the table out there, you don't have to buy ingredients for nothing for them, just kind of bring in the cash, so... I think it's good to have them that way if you ever get, uh, say you get yourself in trouble on ingredients or stuff inside the shop, at least you can make money out there. Uh, just regular Italian bread. Yeah, I got that one sitting there. And then glazed buns. Wait, what, what, what? Got to bring those over. Glazed buns. Got to bring those over here so I know I got them. Hopefully I can stack that there. There we go. All right, so I do have the French bread and Italian bread needs to come over. Um, gray bread. I do got gray bread over here. Yes, I do. Okay, so French bread. I do got French bread over here. Gingerbread and... Okay, so I think we're all set here. Um... I'm actually going to have him make some more uh, glazed buns because those can be kind of popular for some unknown reason. Uh, well, buns glazed, gingerbread man. Gingerbread man. And what's the other thing? French bread. And here is your order, sir. Uh, bring the French bread over. So the nice stockpile we had last night is slowly dwindling down. Let's put these over here. I do got gingerbread men ready to go. Um, so we got like two of each. But I don't like them just sitting there. Because sometimes customers will come in and, and it'll be like two, two right in a row ordering the same thing. And then you're out of them. And then he's uh, too busy making something. And you can't have him make him while he's uh, already making something, right? All right, baguette, French bread. French bread. I only remember two things at once. I just try to make it easier myself. Gingerbread man. I mean, we're only making, I say, like 20% of what we possibly could make in the store. No, I didn't want to put that back down. And now that gingerbread man's going to stay there. All right. I have to bring him over. Come on over with your friends. There we go. And bun glazed over here. All right. We'll go ahead and quickly check my ingredients to make sure we're doing fine and everything that we need, that we have in stock. 24, 21, 17... 14, I'll order some of those. Yeast. Always have yeast. Butter, oil, chocolate, sugar. I'm going to buy a whole bunch of flour. 
All right, uh, baguette gingerbread man. Ooh, uh, no, I didn't want to. Thank you, gingerbread man, oatmeal cookie. Did I, I did I not make more baguettes? I feel like I didn't for some reason. I did not. Usually he can make them at about the rate I need before another customer comes in. So it's not the end of the world. Oatmeal cookies. Probably should make some oatmeal cookies. For some reason, these uh, biscuit cakes don't really sell that well. I'm not sure why. Not sure why at all. Boy, I really would like to buy that uh, chocolate uh, heater, but I know the second I do, people are going to come in and they're going to want whatever that can make. Why can't that fit? Th Thank you. Um, so what do you want here? Gingerbread man, Italian bread. Gingerbread man, Italian bread. And oatmeal cookie. And scan, scan, scan. Oatmeal cookies, dude. I'm running low on oatmeal cookies. I got one left. Bunglays. I think we're all set. Uh, probably should get some, not gray bread, but Italian bread going. No, I got I got some. No, it's Italian loaf. Ugh. Why do we have to have two different kinds? So I have to go ahead and make sure I got that ready to go. Shouldn't be much of a problem. That's Italian loaf. I need Italian bread. All right, sir, what can you want? Italian bread, a biscuit cake, of course. Italian bread. I just said these don't sell, and now you want one. And you also want a gingerbread man. I don't know why I can't grab the one that's already up there. It's kind of irritating a little bit. I think when I put stuff back down, because it's going to grab off the tray, it seems like. Uh, wait, what do I need over here? Oh, he, he made it. He made it. All right, we're all set. Yeah, so this is just floating in the air. Let me go ahead and put this, like, right here. Grab the gingerbread man. Uh, wait, am I almost out of gingerbread men? Wait, didn't I just have make some? I thought... Okay. Never mind. I thought I just had to make some. Uh, you can make some more. Okay, yeah, we got that. And then you want Italian bread and gray bread. Yeah, if they start asking for four things, I'm going to get real slow. Let's get some gingerbread men back over here. All right, am I am I am I up to speed here? I, I don't know if I am or not. <laughs> I am not at this point. Uh, probably should go ahead and make some gray bread. Yeah, so the first couple of days of having the bakery, it's going to be hard to get a stock pile of ingredients going like I kind of got going now, so I can keep just making stuff, making stuff, making stuff. But by your fourth day, like I think I'm in. Yeah, the money's coming in just fine. Just don't buy all the equipment so fast that you can't you can't make everything. Uh, oatmeal cookie, Italian bread. Uh, you want to place that down there? There we go. And all right, and that. Yeah, so I think in the first episode, there were a couple times during the day, I was like, yeah, this is, uh, what's the rush? And now it's kind of like, um, yep, we're, we're keeping up. We're keeping up. 
uh, Italian bread. That's Italian loaf bread. I need. I just need Italian bread again. Do I keep clicking on the wrong one? Next person's gonna come in. They're gonna want one. I guarantee it. Uh, do I have oatmeal cookies over here? I don't have oatmeal cookies over here. We do now. All right. So we got enough of that kind of bread. Um, did he? Yes, he did make the gray bread. All right, uh, baguette. I don't know if that's actually on the tray. There we go. And what else did you want? Gingerbread man. Go, let's get this one off the shelf. There we go. And luckily, no one wanted this Italian bread. All right, I think... Um, ooh, I only got one of these left. Uh, biscuit cakes. Let's go ahead and make some more of those. Have an extra is always... No, wait, that's way at the top. Yep. Got to keep him busy. All right, so I do got gray bread. Yep. Glazed buns is because I got enough in order. Now no one wants any. Oh, now this guy does. Uh, gray, gray bread. And then, of course, you want your buns glazed. And a baguette. All righty. Let's go ahead and put these up here. Get these in order here. There we go. I think you can get six trays across now, the way I'm starting to stack them. It's getting a little bit better. All right, so I think we got everything. Now let's go ahead and get some baguettes going. We got about four more hours in the working day and the money is rolling in. So we made a little bit over $300 so far. Bun glaze, biscuit cake. Oh wait, I got one here on the counter. There we go. Perfect, thank you for ordering that. And also Italian bread. And another satisfied customer. No, I don't need these yet. Not yet, we don't. All right, um, Italian bread. Make sure I order Italian bread. All right, uh, take a breather, I think. Just come in, we'll check the ingredients again. 3125, yep, we're all good there. Anything below 10, definitely should go ahead and order. I did see we were getting kind of low on oats, down to 16, so let's go ahead and order it because why not? Uh, baguette, Italian loaf. Italian loaf. And French bread. Oh, it's going to be so good here tonight. When, oh. I thought I was grabbing the baguettes. Nope. Got to grab that. Uh, gray bread. Wait, I don't have gray bread up here. There we go. All right. Uh, French bread. We're low on, we're getting low on French bread. All right. Um, how are we doing financially today? You can just come right here and look right at our finances this way. So we bought a lot of stuff. But I have sold $468 worth of food so far. Italian loaf in gray. Italian loaf. Gray. And bun glazed. Let's 
So if you remember in the first episode, I think my baker was kind of uh, taking a lot of the day off once in a while. Not so much anymore. Uh, did he make the French? French bread. Uh, glazed buns. Uh, what am I low on here? Italian. Italian loaf. I think I got Italian loaf over here. Yep, I do. Glazed buns. I was like, what am I coming over here to make? Uh, glazed buns. And grab the loaf. Alright, so, and I need some gray bread as well. But we're coming here to a close of the day. Look at my rating though. Holy crap. Gingerbread man, French bread. Gingerbread man, French bread. And gray bread. Remember I said I may not need that gray bread? I may need it pretty darn soon. Because we don't have any gray bread left. Get that ordered right away. Gray bread. I think uh, I used the last of the French. Yes, I did. So I got five trays up top. Four trays below. So the only thing I'm missing is the gray bread, which he's making. A lot of running back and forth, I know, but this is this is the best way to get this is the best countertop space I got going. I, you can place a couple things over here, but it, yeah, it's it's kind of uh, out of the way. All right, uh, let me grab the gray bread here. All right, what do you want? Gray bread, Italian bread, of course. Gray bread. Italian bread and a gingerbread man. Um, what was it? Uh, yeah, Italian. Nope, I got those. I got some. You know what? <laughs> I decided to make some, but more gray bread, please. We're down to one. I got buns glazed over there. Yep. All right. So I think I kept up my rating. I'm actually surprised it's gone up as much as it has in the last two days. But I've only missed one order today, I think. Which is not too bad. In about an hour, it'll be quitting time. French. French, French, French. Patsky and Italian Italian bread. And can you make some Italian bread there, sir? I got the I got the gray bread already up there, so we're all set. Uh, probably need to make some gingerbread men when he gets done with that. And I think I think that's the end of our day. Yep, no more people walking up and down the street, so no more customers for today. So we can kind of take a breather. <laughs> Everyone relax. We're all set. Um, what did I say? Oh, gingerbread man. Uh, make some gingerbread men, sir. But now the problem is, no, uh, this needs to go over here. Now we're gonna get this a little bit busy because the next thing we're gonna buy is the uh, chocolate heater, is it? Chocolate heater for 175, let's go ahead and buy that. All right, so. I can't see because he's I really wish we could see what the uh, what I can make with what while he's busy making something. Let's go ahead and grab this. We'll put this over here. I just want to come back in here and start from the top here. Um, let's see. Sausage bread. No, cannot make. That's chocolate injector. So chocolate heater, oven, and mixer. Uh, chocolate snack is what I can make. And I think I got all the ingredients for that. Chocolate snack. All right. 
You know what I'm going to do, since he's making that, and I, I got so much cash, is we're going to come to ingredients. You know what, we're just going to go ahead and buy... If we don't have it, we're buying it. Let's go right on down the list. There, now we got everything. All right, uh, the other thing we're going to need here, I just spent a whole bunch of cash, and one thing I forgot, I'm making more stuff, uh, equipment. Um, if I come on down to 150 for shelving, used to add products on. Um, right here, all right. Let me go ahead and put these visible to me. All right, these are our spares for the front, all right? So we just made chocolate snacks, oven mixer. No, we don't have a bread, uh, brick bread mold. Uh, mixer, oven, no, you can already make that. Glaze, chocolate heater, dough maker. I don't have a dough maker. Do I? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Sorry, we do. We can make the eclair. And then tomorrow I'll have to keep stock of all of our ingredients. Oh, look at that. All of the ingredients on the shelf, although we're short something over there. There's something that's empty. What do we don't have? What, did I just use something? Probably flour. Or is it just odd because maybe there's nothing actually goes there. No, there's no, nothing actually goes there. All right, uh, okay, so we'll put these right here, and those are the eclairs. All right, oatmeal cookie we're already making, gingerbread man we're already making, uh, chocolate heater, cream gun. I don't have a cream gun. Dough maker, chocolate heater, oven, mixer, donut. Start making me some donuts, sir. This way we'll be all set when morning comes. We'll have everything that uh, we can make. And then I'll just have to buy some extra ingredients as we go along in the day. Oh, it's going to be good. People are going to be asking for a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, my rating, like I said, I don't know what's going to happen when I reach the full bar. Is it going to go like the two stars and I have to go one up? Or how's that going to work? I have no idea. Mmm, donuts. All right, after donuts, uh, let's see, pie, cream gun, we don't have, cake mold, cupcake machine, chocolate, uh, pastry, I can make chocolate, chocolate heater, oven, dough maker, mixer, we got that. Ah, uh, yeah, so when we start selling things tomorrow morning, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be out of ingredients of something or other. So anything I see below 10, definitely got to buy it. Definitely not to buy it. Luckily, I got $79, but I'm going to be $20 shorter because I got to pay the worker. And he's staying here overtime because <laughs> we got to make sure we're set to go in the morning. All right, so now we're down to pastries. Muffin is chocolate heater, oven, mixer. Uh, yep, that's all we need. We should have all the ingredients. And is that the, that's the last thing on the list. That's the last thing on our list that we can make. And then I can send him on home for the night and I can take a quick rest. And we'll be back at it at 7 a.m. Hopefully bring in some cash. For darn sure, because I got to buy a whole bunch of ingredients. Definitely going to need it. Definitely going to need it. Give me those muffins, sir, because I want to see what they look like. Now let's have to remember what is where. And there we go. So today we made chocolate snacks, eclairs, donuts, pastries, and muffins. Uh, we got ourselves a chair, so people will wait a little bit longer for their orders. And we bought ourselves a juice and ice cream machine. So the money's coming in really good. Let's see, I got, uh, I should have 
Italian bread and gray bread ready to go, right? Italian bread, gray bread. I even made some buns glaze and some gingerbread men. Yeah, we're all set. We are all set. I do not plan to play any days in between this episode and the next one because we got to see how this goes. And hopefully I can keep up and see where everything is. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you again right here in Bakery Shop Simulator. But until then, have a good one.